All right, everyone, welcome back to Turner Farms. And today we're planting some soybeans. Dad's going in this field and Michael's going over in the other field. So I'm gonna do a time lapse here on this camera for you. And then I'm gonna see if I can't get a drone going up in the air and get some footage of, I don't know if I'll be able to get both um, tractors going at once because I gotta cross these big old power lines here. I should be able to go over them just fine. I just, it's not my drone. I just don't want to crash it. So I don't know if I'll attempt it or not. I might point the camera this direction, but we're gonna throw you guys in the cab of the 886 there and you guys are gonna watch a time lapse. So hopefully you enjoy that. So let's get at her, I guess. All right, so we got Michael here in the other field drilling in beans for us because we are racing rain right now. That's 30 minutes away. Not gonna get it all done, but get as much done. It's not supposed to last too long, but we're gonna see if I can fly his drone. Well, let's go talk to him, I guess. So dad's giving her hell down there before the rain comes. Um, I gotta take my GoPro off of there. As you guys know probably by now, I cannot get the drone up in the air because my phone is being a D-I-C-K, but it is what it is. There's some sprinkles going on now, so I'm gonna grab the GoPro off of there and take her on home, and I'm gonna go eat some supper. So, yeah. All right, so I'm transferring some liquid fertilizer over for Dad. Oh, this is all we have left that you see right here, whatever's in that tote. 
So I'm just putting in this one since it's already set up in the old manure spreader here. I don't know. So I got that dumping out right now. Dad's got about 10 acres left in the field he's in, then he'll be done with that one. Then it's on to the last field behind the farm here. Then we're done planting for the year. Unless we somehow pick up some more ground or do some custom work, which I highly doubt. So, yeah. That's what I'm up to right now. This poor little manure spreader don't like this weight, but you know what? It can suffer with it. It was a manure spreader at one time. It'll be fine. Until the floor collapses, but until then, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. This thing's been decapitated for a long, long time. Looks like it was painted after it was decapitated, too. So. Yeah, and the neighbors just went by with their fancy tender rig. Brand new Ford F450 or something. Gooseneck trailer. Bastards. <laughs> No, this does for us. For now, anyway, until hopefully we pick up some more ground. Usually our start starter's in there, but we used all that up. This is just leftovers from last year. It looks like the tank's about empty up there. I might have to tilt it a little more to get the rest of it out. But yeah. So, I guess, talk to you guys later. Alrighty, so Dad made it to the next field here. The last field for us, anyway. Making his first pass in the headlands. I got the liquid fertilizer tender here along with the actual seed tender itself. That's here ready to go for him whenever he needs it. So right now I'm currently working on a water fountain project for this lot here for these steers. So that way they don't have to go all the way up to their shed to get water. Just kind of a summertime thing, but yeah, Dad's giving her hell, I guess. It's about lunch times. I think it's right on noon, so. Yeah, he should be able to get this field done today, hopefully, if things go well. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, Dad is on the last of the soybeans. We're trying to not open a new bag. So, he found some soybeans from last year that was in an open bag. And it was only like three quarters of a bag, if that. So, Dan's gonna try to see if he can get it done without opening up another bag. And he just got a little piece here left, I believe. So, a little piece back here. He said it was a corner piece. So, yeah, I'm gonna actually grab the four wheeler. I don't want to walk. Dad here for the last little bit. Hopefully he has enough seed because neither of us want to open up a new bag. So what you see here is what he has left it's from there to here. Now he's planting this different way than he has in the past. He usually goes north south and now he's going east west. So he's coming right at us. Look at that sexy 86 series right there. I think you guys are filming the other way. I don't know about that. I'm so sorry about that.
check this last. Last one here. Let's see if this one's going in there. We still got quite a bit in there. You can see the trash pushers are barely even moving. So, they're doing their job. Come over here. Try to find our seed. Get some of the leftover corn out of the way. Corn roots. There's some more in here. Why? Maybe I won't find one. Well, it shouldn't be that deep. I probably moved it by accident. I gotta move, I'm gonna get ran over. Alrighty, so I guess that was the last pass. But he still got some beans in three of the rows, so he's gonna go. Do a double pass on the headland up there and just run it out so we don't have to clean it out which that seed's already a year or some old so might as well just run around instead of saver for another year so that's what he's gonna do it's just beans anyway so yeah maybe he's gonna do a double pass right here somewhere Yeah. On top of the ground. There you go. Junk anyway. Right, it's already a year old. Then you got Brant in the background on his dirt bike. Yeah, it's dropping out. You can see the seeds here. <laughs> Yep, that's all for planting, I guess. Doesn't take that long. We can get planting done, honestly, in four days. We only got really four fields to do right now. And the biggest one, 60 acres. So, it ain't that bad for us. And then there's a neighbor of his seed tender. He must be done for the day. Yeah, that's all we have. Unless... Well, it won't be this year, but hope I'm hoping I can find some ground before next year to rent for next year, but yeah, so That's all for now, I guess